Praise the living Jesus. My name is Ariel Laure Olua, the prayer coordinator of this online prayer ministry, and this is Praying Eagles Network. Praying Eagles Network. Praying Eagles Network is an online prayer ministry where we fellowship together online to seek the face of the Almighty God in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ with the help of Holy Spirit. Coming live from Lagos State, Nigeria, I know that as you join us today, as we fellowship together, as we pray together, to seek the face of the Almighty God, the Lord will arise and intervene on that matter. According to Luke 21, verse 13, we say, He shall turn to you for a testimony. That matter, that marital matter, that financial matter, that emotional matter, that matter concerning your business, concerning your career, concerning your health, concerning your loved one, it shall turn to you today for a testimony in the name of Jesus. I pray for you, sir. I pray for you, ma. One more time. That that matter, this very day, the Lord will turn it to you for a testimony in the name of Jesus. So why not sit down, get ready for a defined encounter for a life transforming testimony? You are welcome, Jesus' name. Holy Spirit. We pray unto the Almighty God in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ with the help of Holy Spirit. My name is Oreolua Areola, the lead pastor of this ministry. I welcome every one of you in the name of Jesus. Can we all lift up our hand and let's appreciate our Lord, our God. Let's bless His holy name. Let's give Him praise. Let's give Him honor. Let's give Him adoration. Wherever you are joining me from, wherever you are logging from, I want you to lift up your hand and bless the name of our Lord, our God. Bless His holy name. Give Him all the praise. Give Him all the honor. Give Him all adoration. Let's bless His holy name. Let's bless the King of Kings. Let's bless the Lord of Lords. Let's bless the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end. Your Lord, your God, my Lord, my God. Let's lift up our hand and bless His holy name. Our Lord is good. The Bible says, for his mercy endure it forever. The Lord God that preserve your life to this very present moment. The Lord God that preserve my life to this very present moment. The Lord God that preserve the life of your loved one. Can we lift up our hand and say thank you, Jesus? Can we lift up our hand and worship his holy name? Let's give him all the praise, all the honor, all adoration. He is worthy to be praised. He is worthy to be praised. The psalmist said, I slept and I awake for the Lord sustain me. I slept and I awake for the Lord sustain me. Hear me, sir. Hear me, man. You slept last night. And this morning, you wake up by the grace of God. I keep telling people, it's not by our power, it's not by our doing, it's not by our might. We wake up this morning not because of, of our family member that uh, wake us up. You wake up this morning not because of the alarm clock that you set. You wake up this morning not because of your family member that were making noise around you. Hear me, sir. Hear me, man. You wake up this morning because the Lord God sustain you. If it's of the alarm clock, if it's by the noise around us, those who are dead, by now, nobody, nobody will be in the grave. Because when you see people, you see somebody who is dead, you see people, his family, crying. Some people will be shaking him. They will be making noise, a lot of noise, a lot of crying, a lot, a lot of lamentation, a lot of wailing. But they did not awake. Praise the Lord. So you are alive this morning. You are alive this very day because the Lord sustain you. So I want you to lift up a hand and let's appreciate God. Let's bless his holy name. Let's give him praise. Let's give him honor. Let's worship him. Let's adore him. Let's bless his holy name. I want you to say thank you, Jesus, for the gift of life. Thank you, Jesus. For my family, thank you, Jesus. For the work of my hand, thank you, Jesus. For sustaining me, thank you, Jesus. For divine protection, thank you, Jesus. For divine provision, thank you, Jesus. For your hand of love that you support me, thank you, Jesus. For watching over me, thank you, Jesus. For sustaining me, thank you, Jesus. Why not just lift up a hand and appreciate God? Bless His holy name. Worship Him. Bless Him. Adore Him. 
celebrate him is worthy to be praised. Is worthy to be praised. Is worthy to be praised. Thank you, mighty Father. Blessed be your holy name. For in Jesus' name we are praying. In Jesus' name we are praying. Our Lord, our God, I want to say thank you for today. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for our life. Thank you for our home. Thank you for our marriage. Thank you for our business. Thank you for our career. My Lord, my God, I want to say thank you for sustaining us. Thank you for your hand of love that is upon us. Thank you for not allowing the will and the agenda of the enemy to come to pass over our life. To you be all the glory. To you be all the honor. To you be all adoration. Father, as we come before you today, I ask that the heaven open upon us in the name of Jesus. The heavens of mercy, the heavens of favor, the heavens of lifting, the heavens of divine healing, the heavens of creative healing. Father, let it open upon each and every one of us in the name of Jesus. Today, my Lord, my God, in your power, in your mind, arise and visit each and every one of us. Arise and visit our home. Arise and visit our husband, your wife, your children, every of our family members. Today, Lord, arise and let that be the fine visitation. Visitation that will bring a turn around in their life. Visitation that will bring a total turn around in our marriage. A divine visitation that will bring total turn around. Father, arise and visit every one of us in the name of Jesus. And at the end of today, all glory, all honor be unto your holy name. I pray for every one of you who are online and you believe that today God is going to visit you. Every one of you online with one ailment or the other, that you are here today to come and meet with Jehovah, the creator of heaven and the earth. And you believe, as you have come before him, that God is going to do wonders in your life. That there's going to be creative healing. That there's going to be creative healing. Today, as you have come, you will not go by the same in the name of Jesus. I said, as you have come today, you will not go by the same in the name of Jesus. You will not go by the same in the name of Jesus. You will not go by the same in the name of Jesus. The Bible said that Lord God have not called us to seek him in vain. He have not asked the house of Jacob to seek him in vain. So which means God did not ask me and you to worship him, to serve him, to seek him in vain. As you have come today, my brother and my sister, as you have come not to see me, not to meet Orelua, who am I? Ordinary clay. Ordinary clay. But you have come to meet with your God. You have come to meet with your Creator. Today, you will not go by the same in the name of Jesus. I said today, you will not go by the same in the name of Jesus. I said today you will not go by the same in the name of Jesus. I said today you will not go by the same in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name. Once again, you are welcome in the name of Jesus. As I said before, if today is your first time of joining us, you are welcome to Pray in the Goods Network. Pray in the Goods Network is an online prayer ministry. The eagles that represent the Christian. Praise the Lord. The eagles in our name represent the Christian. The Bible said, those that wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength like an eagle. So we have the eagle there. Those that wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength as eagle. So that is where we have the eagle from. So the eagles that wait upon the Lord, how do they wait upon the Lord? They wait upon the Lord in the place of prayer. That is where we have the prayer there. Praise the Lord. So you see the eagles, the Christian, those that wait upon the Lord, Amen. This is our waiting. They wait in the place of prayer. They don't just wait folding their hand. You wait upon the Lord by seeking Him. And you seek the Lord God in the place of prayer. Praise the Lord. And because it's not a one man show, it's not all about Orelua or my family or my friend. It's all about believers. As long as you believe in Jesus Christ, as long as you believe in one true God. As long as you believe in the death and the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. We come together. That is where we have the network from. Praise the Lord. So we have the eagles, the believers that come together, that network together in the place of prayer. So I welcome you, sir. I welcome you, ma, to this online prayer ministry. 
and my own name is Oreolua. I'm the lead pastor. Once again, you are welcome. I have this assurance today that somebody that is joining us for the very first time that you're coming today, you're coming today, you're coming today is going to leave a lasting impact in your life in the name of Jesus. <laughs> A woman shared a testimony that she was just on Facebook one day. And as she was scrolling through Facebook, she just saw a video and she saw this logo behind and just said, Who is this boy? What are they marketers? What are they selling? And she just listened for 30 seconds and she moved. And something that said, Listen again. And she moved back to that video. And she listened. One minute, two minutes, three minutes four minutes <laughs> praise the lord and it's like this boy is talking about me this boy is talking about me praise the lord that was how she joined and then we are preparing for i think we are preparing for prayer avalanche then and uh, during that prayer avalanche age long issue i mean issues that were on ground for longer years i don't know her i don't know that she was online God said to that woman today <laughs> to God be the glory. She is she is she is one of our ministers, she's one of our pastors, she was one of those people that God is using through this ministry. Amen. But everything started one day. So you are coming online today, it's not uh, in vain. God knows about it. And I know God that brought you online will surely attend to you in the name of Jesus. One, two, three, four, five. I have five or is it five or six? One, two, three, four, five. Six. The sixth one is a penny one. Number one, you have a blood clot. My medical people, I'm, I believe I'm right. I hear somebody's blood is um, somebody is having a blood clot, and you have been to a hospital. They have done some, uh, gave you some drug, but the blood keep um keep clotting the blood keep and the same place the same place the same place and i hear the lower region which means if the only Spirit said the lower region which is talking about your leg from your waist downward your blood when you get to a particular place that you begin to solidify today you that person that you are having that issue i speak by the authority of christ let the blood of jesus met that blood in the name of jesus every obstacle in that vein anything in that particular point every arrow of darkness that is making your blood to to to, to solidify to clot there and as a result of that is causing pain i declare I declare let that arrow let it be let it by fire in the name of jesus let the fire of god ransack your body and let the fire of the holy ghost let it met everything Whatever it is that is causing your blood to co to calculate, and uh, whatever it is that is come, uh, causing your blood to solidify, let the fire of Holy Ghost melt it out in the name of Jesus. Number two, you are under stress and anxiety. I don't know why, but you are under stress and anxiety for some days now, and it has been affecting your head. Under stress and anxiety. And as we are affecting your head, you that person, this Bible said that God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of sound mind. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of sound mind. I decree, I declare, anything that is causing stress, anything that is causing anxiety, let the Lord God arise today and intervene in the name of Jesus. Let God arise and intervene. 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 Let God arise and intervene in the name of Jesus. The widow of Sarevat surely have a food, and that was all. But when the prophet came and the prophet gave an order, don't worry, just go and bring the food. Let me eat first. She obeyed. And instead of her to be under stress, when we finish this food, we die. She she released her stress. She released the anxiety. The food did not finish. The wine did not finish. The oil did not finish. 
I don't know what is causing you stress or what is causing you anxiety, but all I know is you can hold on to this word. I speak to that the source, the root of that stress and anxiety. Let the Lord God take over in the name of Jesus. Let God take over. 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 In the name of Jesus. Let God take over to the roots, the tentacles, the causes of that stress and anxiety in the name of Jesus. Amen. Number three. Somebody say number three. Somebody say number three. Amen. Isaiah 61 verse 7. Isaiah 61 verse 7. He said, For your shame, you shall receive double. For your shame, you shall receive double. And Holy Spirit said, I should just announce this three times. I should just declare this three times. You, that person, in the name of God that created the heavens and the heart, in the name of God, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, you will not see shame in the name of Jesus. He's the one that created the heavens and the earth and everything they are in. When he needed money, he had to go and <laughs> he turned a fish to his bank just to bring out money from his bank. When you need money, you go to a bank. But when he needed money, <laughs> he, just, he just said, go and get me a fish, the first fish. The first fish. The first thing your hand is going to, the first thing you will lay your hand upon will turn to gold. Just go and bring it. He turned a fish to the source of money. When he see they needed money, in the, needed water in the wilderness, he turned a standing rock. A rock is an obstacle. A rock is an hindrance. A rock causes delay, causes setback. But hear me, sir, hear me, man. When his children needed water, he turned a standing water. He turned obstacle. What's supposed to be obstacle? What's supposed to be hindrance? What's supposed to hinder them? An obstruction. He turned it to a source of water, a source of comfort. I decree, I declare. What's supposed to give you shame this season? What's supposed to give you shame this season? Concerning that issue, you will not see shame in the name of Jesus. Instead of shame, you will have double honor in the name of Jesus. Instead of shame, you will have double honor in the name of Jesus. The rock supposed to cause delay, affliction, but God turned it around for them. God turned it around for them. Say, I should announce it three times. This is the third time. If you are the one, I just needed your amen. I just want you to agree with me with your amen. I decree, I declare, as the Lord God has commanded. Ezekiel said, and I prophesy as I was commanded. Oh wind, oh wind, bring bread. And as he commanded, as he prophesied, as he was commanded, there was a reaction. I stand upon the word of God today in Isaiah 61 verse 7. This is the third time. I decree, I declare upon you that person, you will not see shame in the name of Jesus. Praise see the Lord. It's a settled case in Jesus' name. The next one. You are having a police case. You have an issue with uh, with the force. Precisely, I have police. You have a case with uh, police, and there is this, there is this fear, there is this issue that uh, it may work against you. But here, what the Lord God said, I should tell you. The Lord opened my eyes, and I saw you and your family going to that police station. One, two, three, four. <laughs> and uh, and uh, at the end of the day, somebody that was telling me in that revelation, the opposition, the one that's supposed to come and stand and witness against you, disappear. They can't find him. He refused to come. They sent for him. He said he's not coming. So when your opposition, when those who are against you, when they refuse to come, you know the meaning. So I saw that they just asked you to just go. 
So you that person that you're having case with a uh, law enforcement agent, the Lord has gone ahead in the name of Jesus. And last but not the least, before we go into today's ministration, every one of you are having rent issue. You need to pay rent. Maybe the rent for your office, maybe the rent for your house, or the rent for uh, property that you are using, or maybe a car or a facility. But there is a rent that you need to pay, and you don't know where the money is going to come from, and you need to pay it. Here are this. Today is Friday. Today is Friday. Today is Friday. By the grace of God, by the spirit of prophecy, comes next week Wednesday. I didn't say next week Wednesday. Before next week Wednesday. When next week Wednesday comes, it will have been a things of the past in the name of Jesus. Your Lord, your God, your Father. Your Lord, your God, your Father. Your Lord, your God, your Father. We have arrived and taken over in the name of Jesus. Maybe I should add this on to it. Every one of you, anytime is the month is uh, coming to an end gradually. Anytime the month is coming to an end gradually, there is this fear there is this anxiety or maybe you are the one that's talking about stress and anxiety anytime the month is coming to an end there is this fear there is this anxiety why because you need to pay your staff and there is this fear how am i going to get the money there's no money on ground but you need to pay your staff i declare i declare let the lord god make a way for you in the name of jesus as this one month is coming to an end as this month is coming to an end you will pay all your bills, you will pay all your rent, you will pay all your staff, you will pay all your workers with ease in the name of Jesus. And nothing of ease, let it rest upon you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Praise ye the Lord. Once again, I welcome every one of us to today's communal service. I title it, His World Is. That means... The word of God bring healing. The word of God bring healing. And I know today, every one of you, or have you one ailment or the other, the word of the Almighty God will bring you divine healing in the name of Jesus. I said the word of God will bring you divine healing in the name of Jesus. The word of God will bring you divine healing in the name of Jesus. The word of God will bring you divine healing in the name of Jesus. Exodus 15, 26. Exodus 15 26. Exodus 15 26. Mark 5 25 to 34. Mark 5 25 to 34. Psalm 18 16 and 17. Psalm 18, 16, and 17. And Psalm 18, 44 to 45. I tell them again. Exodus 15, 26. Mark 5, 25 to 34. Psalm 18, 16, and 17. Psalm 18, 44, 45. Psalm 18, 44, 45. And Luke 5, 18, 25. Luke 5, 18 to 25. Luke 5, 18 to 25. His word is. The word of God will bring you divine healing today in the name of Jesus. The word of the Almighty God will bring you divine healing today in the name of Jesus. So, Exodus 15, Exodus 15, 26. Exodus 15, 26. Exodus 15, 26.
And he said, and the Lord said, If thou will diligently hearken to the voice of God, you see his voice there. If today, if you are going to hearken, if you are going to listen to the voice of God, and we do that which is right in his eyes, we do only what is right in the eyes of God, and give ear unto his commandment, and keep all his laws, I will put none of the disease upon thee, which I have put upon the Egypt and your enemy. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. I declare, I declare upon you, every sickness, every affliction, inherited sickness, any sickness from blood, any sickness that you inherited, any family-related health issue, any environmental health hazard, may God deliver you from them in the name of Jesus. Mark 5, 25 to 34. Mark 5, 25 to 34. Mark 5, 25 to 34. It was the story of that woman with the issue of blood for 12 years. A woman with the issue of blood for 12 years. Her own was 12 years. I don't know how long you have been with that issue. That woman, the Bible said, when you look at verse 25, it said, she had that issue for 12 solid years. 12 years. Verse 26, and she saw many things of many physicians. That means, all doctor, nurses, all physician, uh, apology to all medical people in the house. They were now they turn her to ridicule. They turn her. They were not using her for a specimen. She spent everything she had on it. If a nurse, if a doctor needed money, she just sent for the woman. There's a medication. <laughs> <laughs> apology to all medical people i know all my people they won't do that but some people are doing it we know them we hear about them we read about them they will send for somebody that they know that have a particular ailment oh i just hear there's a particular drug now that will take care of this uh, your something by the time that doctor brag and brag and brag they know a sick person will always look for a way out a drug that will cost uh, five dollars they will tell the person, oh, it's important and it's so expensive. Oh, must, don't worry. Five dollars. They will tell the person, twenty dollars. <laughs> May God forgive those people in the name of Jesus. It is not only now, it has been there in the days of our Lord Jesus Christ. Fast 26. She has spent all she has and nothing better, but rather getting worse day by day. But hear me, sir, hear me. One day she met our Lord Jesus Christ. One day, somebody say one day, not two days, not 24 hours, not, not a whole month, just one day. She met our Lord Jesus Christ and her affliction over 12 years was resolved. The Bible says she has spent a lot of money on it, but this time around she spent nothing, nothing, free of charge. Every one of you with one ailment or, or another, every one of you that your husband, that your wife, that your children, any of your children are having one ailment or the other. Today, I declare, I declare, define a counter in the name of Jesus. Define a counter. 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 In the name of Jesus. When you encounter God on that matter, it will be solved. Did you hear me, sir? When you, when your husband, when your wife, on that concerning that health issue, when there's just one defined encounter, I was uh, talking to somebody last week. I said, On this health issue, you only need one defined encounter. And later, I said, Pastor, this encounter you are talking about, what is it all about? Do you have one? Because the way you are bragging about it, you are bragging as if you are the one that, that formed it. So you have 100% assurance about it. Can you tell me, do you have one about it? <laughs> I love questions like that. There's a tribe in Nigeria. If they are sick and you offer them medication, they will ask you before they will take it from you. They will ask you, this sickness, have it happened to you before? You will say no. I say, happened to somebody around you. You say no. So you, it has not happened to you. It has not happened to somebody around you. You are not giving medication. How true are you? They are not going to take the, the, the medication from you. 
you will not say yes, it has happened. And they will not ask you, do you use this drug? And you say yes. Does it work? You say yes, they will take it from you. So that was just the summary of the question of that person. So when the person said, Pastor, you say I just need to find a counter. I say yes. Can you tell me, do you have you yourself, do you have one encounter? I laugh. I gave her one, I gave her two, I gave her three, I gave her four. I said, do you need more? <laughs> she said, you are asking for one. I already gave her like four. And I asked, do you need more? He said, Pastor, I just need one encounter. <laughs> By the grace of God, when I was in my primary school, my elementary school, this is my left this is my right hand. This is my left hand. My left hand was paralyzed. Medical people, that was the very first time that we heard about stroke. They injected all manners of things. Uh, what do, do those who massage body? I can't really remember what they call them. The physiotherapy or whatever. It doesn't work. So at the end of the day, what consultants just say, we thank God it's just the, the hand. You should just be carrying it like that. It should just be going and just be managing it like that. Just be managing it like that. But hear me, sir. Hear me, man. The hand was like that. Medical people say I should go and just be using this. <laughs> but one day, I had a divine encounter with God inside the house. And today, if I tell people, nobody believe. Because there was no, up to now, there's no traces. If I share with people, if I tell people, nobody believe. That's how will you know? Show us. Let's see the mark. There's no man, nothing. <laughs> Another time, something swelled up in my, in my, you know the place, and day by day it was getting big, getting big, getting big. Medical people check it. I don't know what they told my parents. Or not to me, they told them we cannot operate this thing. If we operate this in this boy, we die. But day by day, it was getting, it was swelling up. You know, our parents, they won't just leave us like that. My father jumped out. He's late now. He died about 12 years ago. I said I was in primary school then, over 30 years ago. So they gave my father something that looked like soap. Use it to massage the place. And uh, before you know it, every swelling up, I'm not just going to say small like this, swelling up. And um, the more I rub the soap, the more it swell up. <laughs> the more I rub the more it swell up. The only thing I noticed was that my mother would just, because I can't stand up, would just come and look at me. When she see me, she just, when she's going by, she'd just be crying. But one day, I'm not giving my life to Christ, you. I don't go to church there. But I know a prayer woman. A woman who always pray. My sister just said, I need to go and meet this woman. This, this woman that always pray. Those of us from uh, my tribe, you know, the people we call our Aladura. So I just, in the afternoon, in the daytime, I just summon myself. I just, I can't wear clothes. I just wear one I come nothing inside. Just want to <laughs> overall. I rushed. I struggled to go to that woman's house. On getting to her prayer place. <laughs> and she just said, I'll be praying that angels of God should go and bring you. Because God revealed that they want to take your life. By tonight, if you are in that house tonight, you will die. So I've summoned the angels of God to bring you. They said they just want to use that one to just attack you. Number one, if your parents have taken you to hospital, they will open it, you will die. Number two, tonight is the night that they are going to finish all the matter. I was looking at her, what is he saying? He said, but I told the angels of God, midday they must go and bring you for me. I said, nobody brought me. I just thought that I should come and meet you so that you pray for me. The woman laughed. <laughs> the woman laughed. The woman laughed. And she just raised up her hand. And said, oh God of science and wonder. Reveal your greatness, reveal your power in the life of this one. She prayed for me. She said, Go back to your house. I said, You are you not give me anything. You might look at me and say, What's your problem? Give you what? Go back to your house. <laughs> you know, I just said, uh, I was expecting her to give me something. <laughs> I returned back to my house. 
On getting back to my house, I just feel like sleeping. It was around 2, 3 p.m. So in the afternoon, I just lie down and I slept. Less than 30 minutes, I woke up. When I woke up, what swell up there disappeared. No traces, nothing. I'm not saying I read it. I said, what happened to me? So that was the second testimony I gave that sister. And she now said, yes. If it has happened to you, if you have issue and you have a defined account and resolve it, you need me too. I need more. <laughs> so yeah, Mr. Yama, when I'm telling people that there's no sickness, there's no, no ailment that God cannot heal. There's no problem, there's no challenge that God cannot solve. I'm talking out of experience. So every one of you that you are listening to me, every one of you under the Son of God through me, every one of you listening to me right now, I decree, I declare, concerning that health issue, concerning that you're calling health issue, concerning long, that long-term health issue, today, let God encounter you in the name of Jesus. Define a counter for testimony. Define a counter for testimony. Define a counter for testimony. Define a counter for healing. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. The woman with the issue of blood had just one the counter. And 12 years of problem, 12 years of affliction, 12 years of uh, the harass, medical harassment just came to an end. Today, the Lord will counter you in the name of Jesus. Every parent in the house, that you are always in and out of that hospital because of that your child. Today, I decree, I declare, the Lord God that encounter me and break the yoke of affliction, the yoke of paralysis, the yoke of sorry death over my life. I decree, I declare, let that God encounter that your child in the name of Jesus. They told my mother that this kind of thing will lead to death. But God encounter me. He break the yoke of death and have that affliction on my life concerning that your death, that your son, that your daughter, every yoke of sickness, every yoke of affliction, every yoke of death, every yoke of hell. Today, the Lord break it in the name of Jesus. The Lord break it in the name of Jesus. The Lord break it in the name of Jesus. The Lord break it in the name of Jesus. Psalm 18 44 45. Psalm 18 44 45. He said, As soon as they hear of me, as soon as that affliction hear of me, as soon as they hear of me, as soon as that problem hear of me, as soon as they hear of me, as soon as that health issue hear of me, what will happen? Psalm 18, 44, 45. As soon as the problem hear of me, the problem will obey. That stranger will submit themselves. And the, first, the stranger will be obedient to what? The stranger, the affliction, the sickness, the ailment, who is a stranger in your body? They say, the Bible says, they shall fade away and come trembling out of their close places. Every affliction in your body, every health issue in your body, I decree, I declare, in the name of Jesus, let it fade away in the name of Jesus. Let it fade away, 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 let it fade away. That health issue, that affliction, that sickness in your body, in the body of your loved one, in the body of your wife, in the body of your children, let it fade away. 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 That earth is in your body. In the name of Jesus. Let it jump out in the name of Jesus. Let it fade away. 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 In the name of Jesus. Psalm 18, 16, 17. He said from above, He took me, He drove me out of many waters. From above, He sent forth, He drew me out of many sickness, many affliction. He delivered me from my strong enemy. He delivered me from my strong enemy. And from them which hated me, for they were too strong for me. Every earth issue that is draining your strength, that is draining your money, that is draining your weight, that is draining your resources. Every health issue that is straight wasting your time, that is wasting your money. Today, let the Lord God deliver you in the name of Jesus. Let God deliver you. Let God deliver you. Tell your husband, that your wife, that your child, your children, under the yoke of that affliction, in the name of Jesus. Let God deliver you in the name of Jesus. Let God deliver you. 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 Any of our children, wherever they are, 
with one ailment or the other that they are always in and out of hospital we are tired of it they themselves they are just tired they are just i decree i declare this very month this very month let god of signs and wonder the god of miracle let him visit them in the name of jesus let him deliver them let him visit them let him deliver them let him visit them let him deliver them let him visit them let him deliver them in the name of jesus It doesn't cost God anything to visit them right now. It doesn't cost God anything to visit them right now. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. He just wants us to just cry. To just pray unto him. I was teaching my children how to pray. One day, I shared this testimony. And I told them that there is nothing difficult. There is no situation that is too difficult that God cannot reverse. That God cannot reverse. For those of us in Nigeria, you know that electricity is always uh, like toy. And in my environment, for some for months, we don't have electricity. We always use generator. So as I was telling them that uh, there's no difficult situation that God cannot reverse, one of them just asked me, "You know, children, may God deliver we parents from them." from their thinking so that they are you sure that there's nothing you cannot ask god i said there's nothing he said that you mean that there's nothing i said there's nothing and the and uh, all of them they look at themselves i don't know that uh, they are planning for themselves not me and all of, and that one just look at me said daddy are you sure and i said do you have any issue at least i'm your father i have experience <laughs> I'm telling you that, that there's nothing that God cannot reverse. And once said, for how long? I said, when you ask, he will answer you. And uh, the third one said, when you ask, he will answer. I said, yes. He said, okay, daddy, we have, we have a prayer request that we want to pray. I said, oh, yeah. <laughs> My wife was looking at me, was shaking her head. And they said, daddy, we don't have light for some months now. Let's pray that uh, let that be light and we must have light now. I wanted to tell them that not like this. We are not talking about this one. Paul already told them that uh, anything you ask, you will do it. <laughs> so I said, okay, you know, I need to quickly use my brain, calculate out, I will deliver myself and escape. I said, okay, no problem. Everybody close your eyes. You yourself that you ask that question, now raise the prayer. He said, Daddy, we just pray, Oh Lord our God, let that be light. I said, Okay, amen. So they close their eyes. I look at my wife. My wife, she just shake her head for me. That means, Oga Pastor, I am sorry for you today. You have entered into a trap. <laughs> so I just closed my eyes. They were praying. I was not praying. I was, I was calculating how am I going to escape from their rot? How am I because this is this is this is these children, they already ambushed me. So am I going to escape from them? What am I going to tell them? I know that it is a transformer. And we don't have another transformer. They have not changed it. So are we going to have light? Then so the light will not come. So am I going to deliver myself from them? So I just closed my eyes. I was doing the calculation. So when they say amen, what will I tell them to escape it? <laughs> so as I closed my eyes, I was doing the calculation. I just hear the, hear the children screaming. And they were holding me. They were shaking me. They, I don't want to open my eyes because I don't want to see shit. But I noticed that they were screaming. They were shouting. Until my wife said, oh, God, Pastor, open your eyes. <laughs> open my eyes. When I opened my eyes, there was light. No generator. How God restored this transformer. How God brought back the light that day. Ah. I know to them. You see now, that's what you can. That's what you ask God that God will not do. From that day, it, it, it. They believe in God. They believe in prayer more than anything, because God has answered that day. The children, every parent in the house, I join my faith with your faith, concerning that your son, concerning that your daughter, with one health issue or the other that keep reoccurring. Today, that joke of earth issue, 
Let God break it in the name of Jesus. Let God break it in the name of Jesus. Let God break it in the name of Jesus. Let God break it in the name of Jesus. Let God reveal Himself. Let God reveal His wonder. Let God reveal His power in the life of your son, in the life of your daughter, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name. Luke 5, 18 to 25. Luke 5, 18 to 25. Was the story of a man who was bedridden. And uh, this man cannot bring himself, but the friend have to. They package him, they brought him, and they drop him. The crowd was too much, but they forced themselves in from the roof. And Jesus Christ, seeing the faith of the friend, told him, just lift up your bed and go. Your faith, the faith of your, your friend has made you whole. And the Bible said, immediately, 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 what happened? The man was threatened. Verse 25. And immediately he arose up before them, took up that bed where he lay, and departed to his house, glorifying God. Every one of you on that bed, on top of bed, every one of you on bed, every one of you listening to me from hospital, every one of you that you are receiving your treatment from home, I decree, I declare, today, not tomorrow, Today, the Lord bring you healing in the name of Jesus. The Lord bring you healing. 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 In the name of Jesus. Everybody lift up your right hand. Everybody lift up your right hand. I believe your communal material is ready. Please lift up your right hand. Thank you, mighty Father. As your hand is lifted up, I decree, I declare to every one of you, let the hand of the Almighty God for miracle for healing, for deliverance, let it rest upon you in the name of Jesus. As your hand is lifted up, the hand of God for miracle, the hand of God for healing, the hand of God for deliverance, let it rest upon you in the name of Jesus. Let it rest upon you. Let it rest upon you. Let it rest upon you. Let it rest upon your life. Let it rest upon your body, upon your loved one. The hand of God for miracle. The hand of God for miracle. The hand of God for healing. The hand of God for deliverance. Let it rest upon you in the name of Jesus. Receive that hand. Receive that touch. 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 I decree, I declare. Let the Lord God deliver every one of you from strange sickness in the name of Jesus. Let God deliver you from terminal sickness. Let God deliver you from recurring sickness. Let God deliver you from inherited ailments. I decree, I declare one more time. Every one of you that you are listening to me today, the Lord deliver you from strange sickness in the name of Jesus. The Lord deliver you from terminal sickness. The Lord deliver you from recurring ailments. The Lord deliver you from inherited ailments. In the name of Jesus, every seed of sickness, every seed of sickness, every seed of infirmity in your body, every seed of sickness, every seed of infirmity in your body, today, let it be uprooted in the name of Jesus. Let it be uprooted. 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 Every seed of sickness, seed of infirmity, in your body, in the body of your loved one, the Lord will put it. The Lord will put it. The Lord will put it. In the name of Jesus, I decree, I declare, let your body reject evil arrows in the name of Jesus. Your body, let it reject evil seed. Let your body reject evil plantation in the name of Jesus. I decree, I declare, every contrary wind that is against your earth, every contrary wind that is against your healing, today, let it cease in the name of Jesus. Let it cease. 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 Contrary wind that is against your healing. Contrary wind that is against your head. Let it cease in the name of Jesus. 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 As decree and declare upon that contrary wind that is against your head. Peace be still in the name of Jesus. 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 Every dead organs. Every dead organ. 
in the name of Jesus. Let it be exchanged in the name of Jesus. Every dead organs in your body, every dead tissue, every dead part in your body, let it be exchanged to a new one in the name of Jesus. Every weak organ, every weak organ, let it be sent in in the name of Jesus. Every infirmity in your body, every infirmity in your body, every root of sickness, root of, root of infirmity in your body, in the body of your loved one, I declare, I declare, let it be uprooted. Every hidden sickness in your body, every hidden sickness in your body, every hidden ailment in your body, let it be uprooted in the name of Jesus. Every abnormalities within your body, let it receive divine correction in the name of Jesus. Every abnormalities from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Today, let it receive divine correction in the name of Jesus. Divine correction, divine healing, 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 divine correction, divine healing. Every fountain of infirmity in your body, every fountain of infirmity, let it dry up in the name of Jesus. Let it dry up. 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 That fountain of sickness, that fountain of infirmity, I decree, I declare, let it dry up in the name of Jesus. Let it dry up in the name of Jesus. Every evil growth, every abnormal growth in your body, let it melt out in the name of Jesus. Evil growth, abnormal growth, let it melt out in the name of Jesus. Every strange air in your body, strange air in your body, let it be released out in the name of Jesus. Every strange blood, strange blood, blood of affliction, in your, contaminated blood in your system, let it be flushed out in the name of Jesus. Every strange water, every contaminated water, every strange hormones, every irregular hormones, let it be flushed out in the name of Jesus. I decree, I declare upon every one of you. Let the Lord God restore your head in the name of Jesus. Let God restore your joy. Let God restore your peace. Let God restore your joy. Let God restore your head. Let God restore your peace. Let God restore your head. Let God restore your joy. Let God restore your peace. Let God restore your head. Let him restore your joy. Let him restore your peace. Let God restore your head. Let God restore your joy. Let him restore your peace. Upon all our children, wherever they are, I decree, I declare, any one of them with one ailment or the other, let the Lord God restore their heads in the name of Jesus. May God perfect your head. May God perfect your healing. May God perfect your head. May God perfect your healing. May God perfect your head. May God perfect your healing. May God perfect your head. May God perfect your healing. May God perfect your head. May God perfect your healing. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. Blessed be your holy name. For in Jesus' name we are praying. I say in Jesus' name we are praying. Praise ye the Lord. Please can we bring our communion? The blood of Jesus that you are prepared. Amen. It can be drink, your soft drink. It can be. It can be soft drink. It can be water. It can be juice. Praise the Lord. And uh, the flesh can be bread. It can be wafer. It can be chichi. It can be cake. Praise the Lord. So bring it. And those of you who are joining us from the office, please. And you don't have, you don't, you are, you are joining us for the very first time. You are not aware. Quickly get a cup of water. Quickly get a cup of water. We are going to pray on it. I will bless it. And as you take it, you are coming back with testimony in the name of Jesus. I say, I'm going to bless it. You will take it. And you will come back with testimony in the name of Jesus. Today's communion, every, every, every issue in your body, every ailment, every abnormalities, the Lord is going to use today's communion to bring the fire correction in the name of Jesus. For that sister that's joined us for the very first time, please quickly get it. Let me give you one minute. Get a cup of water right now. Please. Can we just give that sister one minute? Get your cup of water, please. Every one of us online, as we wait for that sister in the next one minute, please let's not forget, by the grace of God, prayer avalanche, be of good cheer.
arise or he calls you. There are three things, majorly three things. There are other uh, Jara bonuses, but three major things. So the first is be of good share. God is going, God wants to turn that situation around for your good. He wants you to be happy. Number two, arise. God wants to lift you up. Then number three, God is calling you out of that negative issue, negative event. event. So join me throughout the month of July, from July 1st to the last day of July, every day by the grace of God on our YouTube and um, Facebook and all other platforms by the special grace of God. Be of good share, arise for he calls you. Time is 12 noon Nigeria time. Again, on the YouTube, Pray Nigu's Network, on Facebook, Pray Nigu, and all other our social media platform and our audio platform. Praise the Lord. And also, please, let's not forget, today is Friday, our weekly Fiji. Today is Friday. Our weekly Fiji time is 11.30 p.m. 11.30 p.m. On free conference call app, on YouTube, on Facebook. Facebook, Pray Nigu. YouTube, Pray Nigu's Network. Free conference call app, Pray Nigu's Network. Please join us, 11.30 p.m. Nigeria time. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. And uh, this coming Sunday, we'll continue with our teaching, Knowing God, Part 3. Knowing God, Part 3. Knowing God, Part 3. Sunday, this coming Sunday, June 23rd, by the special grace of God. Our Sunday service is uh, every Sunday, 12 noon Nigeria time. The Lord bless us in the name of Jesus. For every one of you God is choosing to support us, please, the Lord bless you, the Lord increase you in the name of Jesus. You have been blessed today, you want to support, you are welcome. Oh, you are saying, Pastor, for this uh, coming prayer avalanche that is coming, don't worry, by the grace of God, I'm going to handle it. Amen. I don't want to mention him. Our prayer coordinator, my big brother, my big daddy from uh, UK, amen. Every one of you from all over the world, please, let God use you. The only thing I can tell you is, God make use of Peter's sheep. God make use of Peter's sheep. And after Jesus Christ finishing using it, what happened? Peter had a net breaking and sheep sinking testimony. Amen. I believe that will be your testimony in the name of Jesus. The account detail is there on the screen. Or just send a message to plus 234 Six to double five. Oh, you are saying, Pastor, don't worry. Every month, just be giving me your bill. Oh, why not? The Lord bless you all in the name of Jesus. That my sister, I believe you are back with your communal material now. So everybody can we lift up our communal material? Let's lift it up. Let's lift it up. Father, I want to say thank you for today. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. Thank you for the flesh. As we partake of this communal today, Father, let it bring divine healing. Let it bring divine correction. Let it bring divine perfection. Let it bring divine restoration onto our heads, onto our body, onto our organs, onto our flesh. You that person that they have diagnosed you with cancer, ovarian cancer. You that person that they have diagnosed you with cancer. I decree, I declare, today by this blood of Jesus, let that seed of cancer, let it be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Let it be uprooted out. Every one of you with issue of cancer, Today, today by the blood of Jesus, the root of cancer is uprooted in the name of Jesus. Every seed, every abnormalities, every negative multiplication of cells in your body, the fire of God consume them in the name of Jesus. Every one of you, as you partake of this healing, the Lord renew you, the Lord refresh you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. Blessed be your name. For in Jesus' name we are praying. Take the flesh, the flesh, break it into two and eat. As you break it into two, that sickness, that affliction, God break them into pieces and the Lord flesh them out in the name of Jesus. Break it into two and eat. Take the blood and drink. As you are drinking, I drink the blood of Jesus unto life, not unto death, not unto sickness, not unto condemnation, not unto weakness, but unto strength. Unto restoration, unto healing in Jesus' name. Drink and drink unto healing. Let's have our family member. If you have been blessed today, if you have testimony, why not share it with us? Let's rejoice together. 
the Lord bless you all in the name of Jesus. Once again, let's not forget tonight weekly Fiji time is 11 30. The Lord bless us in the name of Jesus. As you go into the remaining hours this day, as you go into this weekend, as you go into the remaining days this month, may God perfect everything that concerns you. May God raise you up. May God lift you up. May your testimony be released. May your healing come, come speedily in the name of Jesus. So shall he be. In Jesus' name we are praying. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. See you tonight by the special grace of God. God bless you all. Jesus' name. Dear father, mother, uncle, auntie, married, single, boy, girl, man, woman, brother, sister, and friend, you and I will one day leave this world and our spirit will appear on the other side. Will you be allowed to enter heaven? The only way to enter heaven is to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and walk in righteousness. If you have not given your life to Jesus or you once did and you backslid it, you started living in sin, please say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I believe in my heart that you died for me and on the third day you rose again that I might be free from sin. Right now, I confess you as my Lord and personal Savior. Forgive me my sins and wash me with your blood. Make me your child and write my name in the book of life. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Sin and Satan has no more power over my life. In Jesus' mighty name, it's a new day. Amen and amen. God bless you.